Hey everybody, well I was on Facebook this morning posting some uh, photographs and some video clips from the grinding train on the loop last night and somebody mentioned something about a derailment so I called my buddy and he said yep there's a derailment at the cable crossover and there it is right behind me. Uh, it's my understanding that this train is going down the hill and was slowing down and either was put in emergency by the crew or or went into emergency, I'm not sure which. Went on the ground, right here at the cable crossover, took out some signal equipment, but uh, I understand there were no injuries, and that's always a good thing. So now let's flip this around and see what's going on. All right, well, you can see they've got some Cars pulled out of the way. I don't know how many cars in total were involved. It looks like two, three, four, five. It looks like six. You can see down there they've got an auto rack on its side. One still upright, one sideways. Another one over there. And a couple of tank cars. I don't know what they're hauling. Uh, I don't know about all of the tankers, but this one in the back looks like a LPG car. I don't know if they're loaded. I have no idea. I don't, I just don't know. You can see the tracks kicked out there. This is, I said the cable crossover. There's a single crossover here. And it looks like this took out the uh, westbound signals. I'm sure the switch, you can see the it's left of the track down there shoved out off between the two auto racks there. Going to be a lot of work for the signal department to do and a lot of work for the track department. At least it's not raining or snowing or windy or anything. I didn't notice a lot of trains coming up from Bakersfield. There was one stopped at Sandcut and one stopped down at the other end of Cable. And I don't know, it was on the same track as this, so I don't know. That may be the head end of this train. They may have just pulled it out of the way. I don't know. I haven't spoken to anyone and I'm not going to go swim in everybody's soup. The thing about the uh, derailments is they bring out everybody, everybody who's anybody. And even people who are nobody, like me. Tehachapi is just right over the hill there. Anyway, let's see if we can get a different view of this. I'll just come get a different angle on it. I'm not going to go get any closer. No point in that. You see the signal house down there the crossover it looks okay as I said you can see that the signals for this end of the control point are gone all right I was gonna ask a couple of these BNSF guys up here the question didn't involve this the question I have about the video I'm doing about signs but every single one of these guys is on a conference call. And I, when I said earlier, they derailments bring everybody out. Half these people are probably sitting in their vehicles on conference calls and really don't need to be here. But it's a derailment. It's probably the most exciting thing that's happened in their jobs in the last six months. All right, well, it ain't much, but... Uh, you know what's going on? You know as much about it as I do. I, like I said, I understand there were no injuries. And, well, maybe I'll come back up here tomorrow or something and see if they follow the cleanup on it or something. But uh, anyway, really nothing else to show or report from here. So uh, shoot me the ideas. Drop in the comments below. Shoot me an email at motorport 59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. We'll see you all later.